Hello, everybody. Peter Grosso, Pocket Pete, here with the great James Woods. How are you, James? I am so good. Thanks for setting this up. I'm looking forward to all of it. I'm so excited. You know, we're we're flying in from uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Can't wait to spend some time with you. Can't wait to see um, to see you and like actually go out too and have you know have some drinks and have a good yeah. time. Um, <laughs> but, more, <laughs> but more importantly, I'm so excited uh, about all the things we're going to learn from you on Thursday. Yeah. But uh, tell me about you. Tell me about your background. Where you know where'd you come from? Where sure. you know? And give me a little bit about your journey. Well, I think one of the things that has kind of set me apart from some realtors, most realtors' uh, background and story, is that I decided to move to Tulsa and get my real estate license at the exact same time where I could not name three people. I literally could name two and that was it. And there's only so many houses you can sell to your mother before she's like, you've got to get out and get some friends, you know? But the problem was all of my friends had real estate licenses because that's who I'm in community with. And so I really did have to figure out how to, how to build a business from the ground up. I knew absolutely, other than two people, I knew no one. So, this is that's a unique story, but that's what's so cool is anybody who attends this workshop. This is not always, you know, we go to a lot of conferences where everything's about circle of influence, everything's about who you know. Well, we're going to definitely hit on that. I've definitely got some ways to pull out some listings from your database, and we're going to talk about how to do that. But there's also a lot of information I'm going to give that has absolutely nothing to do with people you know, it's about your work ethic. And the words that you say, and and we're gonna get in all. Oh man, I'm super stoked! But yeah, so that's a little bit about my background, and uh, and so yeah, I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I've been selling real estate now six years. That's amazing. Well, you know that that's an incredible journey, and you actually lived out a fantasy of mine, um, in that I I've always wanted to just well in the last couple of years like see if I could recreate it, to see if I if you could drop me in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Mm. And if yeah. I could do it again, do it again. And, and I have no doubt. And I don't say this in a uh, arrogant, overly confident manner, but I truly believe if you drop me in Long Island, I would dominate the market in about 12 to 18 months. You know what yeah. I mean? It, because it's not always about it, really what it just boils down to is work ethic. And do you have the right words? Do you put in the, the, the you know, there's everybody thinks that they're a hard worker. But then when you get your real estate license, it really kind of separates the men from the boys, if you will. And, and so everybody who has a real estate license, you absolutely can succeed. And you, if you're willing to put in the hours and if you're willing to put in the hours in the right places and not spend too much time in areas that just don't equate to business. Right. I, I completely agree. And, I, and I've always said that like the um, you can succeed at level one and two in this business with just tenacity and work ethic. Mm -hmm. And I like to say, especially to new real estate agents, people that are people that are trying to get their business going is that it's sort of like an airplane where like you, to get off the ground, everyone needs to go at the same speed. And then at some point, once your business is going, you could decide exactly how high you want to fly and how right. you want to continue it. But step one is that tenacity, that work ethic yeah. and getting and getting off the ground and then uh, and then deciding what you want to do with it and what systems you want to implement and, and taking it from there. So I can't wait to see, you know, all the cool tips and tricks and, and, and advice that you're going to, you're going to give to us. And what's so cool about Thursday is whether you're a brand new agent, like maybe you're in pre-license, you're about to get your license. You should attend. Maybe you're in your first 18 months or so. Maybe you are a veteran, a seasoned, experienced agent. I still can guarantee you there's going to be a lot of information for everybody because the information I'm going to give also, ooh, this is one of my favorite parts about it. Almost everything I'm going to talk about doesn't come with a huge price tag and expense that you have to spend $10,000 a month to get here. That, that's unreasonable. The average person can't do that. Right. And so... This is going to be real world, practical stuff that you can implement immediately and see a transformation over the next six to 12 months. I guarantee it. If you'll just put some feet to these concepts, some action behind it. Um, I, I'm going to you know, talk about 
again, words that we say, I, I can't emphasize enough how important our words are because I have an important philosophy. And that is that we as real estate professionals, we are paid proportionately to the quality of words that come out of our mouths. I couldn't, right? I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. I mean, right. I, uh, I, I love that statement. Yeah. So what yeah. words are you using? I'm going to give you scripts and tips and exact little phrases. How Maybe you've got a lender you really want someone to use your trusted lender because you know when they use your lender, it's going to get to the closing table right. as compared to that big company that is on TV commercials that you don't know if you'll ever even hear from anybody. I have a way to help open up the mind of that buyer and just kind of have some influential words that can kind of help direct them in a path you'd love for them to explore. So we're going to talk about that and how to a few tips on how right now you might be able to get more offers accepted, what you can do as the agent to stand out. And I'm not just talking about talking the buyer into offering more money or let's go use a, an escalation clause. Like those are, those are givens. It's stuff that's kind of outside the box. Right. So I'm so excited, James. Uh, I, I don't want to keep you this. I'm, I'm so Excited and it's going to be. This is going to be such an uh, incredible event. And you know, one thing I keep saying to to um, the realtors in my office and and uh, you know anyone that anyone that asks for advice is it's this being successful in real estate. It's not doing the complicated. It's repeating the things that work, and they're usually simple and and uh, repeatable things that that I'm sure you're going to teach. That we, I probably walk away with fifty new things. If I take two or three of them and add them That's right. to to my business, I'm going to have a better business. I'm going to have an easier Absolutely. life. I'm going to make more money, and I'm going to be less stressed. And and that's what I'm 100%. looking to bring. So I'm I'm excited. You're going to be bringing that to New York. And this isn't just open to your office, correct? It's not. It's not. So yeah, anybody who oh. wants to attend, I I want to be, um, you know, the ambassador to this this this. Uh, to, to Long Island and and come on down, say nice things about me. I'm not going to ask you to, you're not going to get pitched. I'm not going to ask you to join the brokerage. I may even forget to thank you for coming. Um, but <laughs> we're, you know, we, we want to have people, we want to have a nice audience for, for you, James. And I want to want to make sure that we're providing, um, you know, great content to the, yeah. the real estate community. Right. And that, and that just goes hand in hand with my mission as someone who does speaking is that my, my speaking mission is to just raise the standards in our industry and it's to push real estate professionals to the next level and to be better, uh, you know, than kind of sometimes what the public perceives us as. And right. so if, if you just attend and, and also one last thing is I know that on Thursday, there's a hundred other places an average realtor could be. And they might even prioritize something else as more important because of whatever reason. But I can guarantee that those who attend will walk away with more value in those few hours that we're together than probably what you would get over the next year if I had to guess. And so I promise it's a great investment. It's a completely free workshop. It's just a little bit of investment in of time. And I, I promise it's going to be well worth every minute. Yeah. And Beyond that, that is so important. I also want to add that there will be pizza. Oh, sweet. So, <laughs> so not only are you getting the great James Wood, <laughs> not only are you leaving this event a better realtor, you're going to make more money, you're going to live an easier life, you're going to leave with a stomach full of delicious pizza. Sweet. So, so how do you say no to that? <laughs> you can't. You must be there. All right, James. One quick thing. I, I've been in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I've uh, every other place was barbecue or end barbecue. I think I even saw a get your oil changed and barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what I had for dinner last night? Yeah. Barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we got to go get some barbecue. No, we haven't had barbecue in months. So oh, last oh. night I was just craving it. But yeah, we, um, you know, here in the South, barbecue is life. Um, it's why I have three grills on the back patio. Like <laughs> grilling, grilling is life here. So well, barbecue I'm is to Visit and, and uh, see how good of a cook you are. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. All right, James. I'll, I'll see you on Thursday. Excited to have you. And uh can't wait for this. Yeah, it's going to be great. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you soon.